I am Evelyn Boat, the owner of Sweet Fable Kennel. I have been breeding beagles for 13 years. In my whole life I have been crazy for dogs and I always had dogs. I first met beagles shortly after a tragic event in the history of my family, and their funny and kind personalities helped me a lot in this period. The beagle is an English breed, and they were present for centuries in the history of dogs. From the first sources in what they appeared in the 17th century it turns out that they were mainly used for chasing rabbits on hunts, and they worked in packs. This is one of the reasons why the end of their tails had to be white, and still is, this showed the hunters that the animal moving in the bushes is not a rabbit, or a fox, so that they should not fire. In the past decades beagles are not used for hunting purposes, or very rarely, they have become an ideal family and companion dog breed. In spite of this, we, in our breeding program try to concentrate to preserve our dog's hunting instincts, it is our conviction that beagles should not lose their original virtues. Otherwise, beagles can be used for a lot of purposes, what people in general does not know. In England and in the US they are sometimes used for drug search, and they are excellent in finding truffles as well. What you also have to know in connection with beagles is that a lot of misconceptions are circulating in connection with them among people. What is the most common of them is that beagles are dogs who will escape by all means, no matter what you do, or where you put them. Basically, I think that they are not escapers, rather, they are an adventurous breed who like to smell everything and search for objects. If you deal with them regularly, take them to walk, give them some tasks to do, that will be perfectly enough for them, and they will not escape or run away. The second most common topic is the so-called, in quotes, extra obesity tendency of them. It is true that they like to eat, and they can eat anything in any quantity what you give them. But if they get fat it is usually not their fault as the owner gives them too much to eat. What is sure, self-feeders cannot and must not be used with this breed. If you give them the amount of food which required and not more, they will not get fat, which is their main interest as well, as getting fat is very dangerous with beagles from the perspective of their health. Their standard weight is 12 to 15 kilograms, it is not healthy at all if they weigh more than that. The personal reason why I like the beagles most is that they are real family dogs. They are like eternal children, they behave the same way when they are 11 years old like as if they were a one year old. They are always happy and kind, they are very intelligent, and they are ready for a lot of activities. One of our dogs is preparing for agility, another excels in dog dancing. They are absolutely owner-centered, and they enjoy if the owner teach them tricks and tasks to do. They are a very active breed, full of energies, and a 10 to 20 minutes walk is not enough for them. Of course you can keep them in a flat as well, but you have to spend one or two hours a day to walk and move them. If they reach one year of age, you can do almost all type of sports with them from jogging to swimming or even bicycle riding. I usually jog with my dogs and of course they can get tired, which lasts for 20 minutes, and they would like to start the whole thing again. Very few people know in connection with beagles that they have a very thick undercoat, so winter and cold weather is not a problem for them at all. At us they usually spend the day outside even in winters, and of course they have an insulated kennel. They never get cold and they do not need dog coats or any other clothing. They are a tough breed, and you do not have to worry even from hot weather as well. I usually recommend the beagles for families, who have children, as they love children and very patient with them. From the other side, children usually love them very much as well, because they can play with the beagle anytime, and they are not aggressive at all. They are also ideal for those people who love nature and touring. Beagles are ideal companions in any of these activities, and they enjoy it very much. In a funny way I usually say that if you could raise one or two children, then you will be able to deal with a beagle too. Of course we should not humanize them, and they are not children, but they usually require a lot of care, attention and education. This is the basis of living together with a beagle without any conflicts or negative experiences. In connection with this breed you have to set up rules that you keep from the moment you take the puppy home with you. If you keep to these basic rules and take care of tour dog regularly, or, if you are a first-time dog owner, go to dog school with them, you will have a very good relationship with your dog, and you can teach them almost everything. You can take them to dog shows, 
you can take working exams with them, it all depends on the amount and intensity of the time you spend with them. Of course there are characters to whom I cannot recommend the beagles sincerely, and I usually convince them not to choose this breed if they come to me to buy a puppy. I do not recommend them to those people who do not live an active life and do not like to move a lot and spend their days within the four walls. Of course, there are no problems at all with this way of life as this is the preference of these people, but the beagle is not ideal for them because of the things I talked about earlier. They should rather choose a breed which is more relaxed and do not have such a high energy level and activity needs. Beagles are a healthy and very tough breed. What we read that what is sometimes occur amongst them is epilepsy, and of course there are screenings for this disease. I have to tell you that in the more than a decade-long period when I have been breeding beagles, I never had even one dog who was diagnosed with epilepsy. We never experienced any other beagle-specific diseases that would be characteristic of them. Of course this whole health issue deeply depends on how you keep them, and how and with what you feed them, which should be high quality. If you decide to have a beagle and find the right breeder, do not be shy to ask for the breeder's advice on the character of your future dog. If you plan to take part in sport events, you should choose a more active puppy. If you are a more relaxed personality and do not plan to go for sports events, then you should choose a more relaxed puppy. A responsible breeder, who knows his dogs, will definitely help you to find the ideal beagle for you.